Okay. Uh, Roberta Roll is the, the president of our scurrilous little organization here, the Grange, and she's uh, she's just great, and she's been very she's been pulling this town together for a long time, and we're just really glad to have her. Sometimes she dances, sometimes she reads poetry. Tonight she's going to read poetry. So would you please welcome Roberta Roll? Thanks. Without the mic? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. Somebody gave me this book today, actually, and I was reading a few poems in it, and I just thought, so I thought I would bring, share a couple tonight. These poems are by Wyatt Townley, and the book is uh, her book. She's written several, I guess, um, called Rewriting the Body. This poem is called One House. Before we, before we could meet across the room a thousand miles from here, with a dozen years between us, we would have to learn to count on what wound its way from the feet up the turning staircase of the spine and out the mouth because the feet kept running from what the mouth was saying. Then the mouth would run on and on while the feet stayed put. And isn't this the project of a lifetime, to live in one house, bounding up from the basement, feet and gut and heart and head, together up the wooden stairs to the first floor and the second, where the view opens out and a squirrel on a branch freezes his eye on you. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do? And this, I mean, it's, it's better to read this um, visually, but I'll just tell you, the poem is titled Rejection Slip. And there are little check boxes here. And each line that I'm gonna read is one of the check boxes. So, rejection slip. Does not meet our needs at this time. Try back in a couple of hours. Too long for our taste. Too short for our taste. We have no taste. <laughs> too deconstructionist. Too reconstructionist. Reminds editor of Old Boyfriend. <laughs> Get over here right away. Best of luck placing your manuscript elsewhere. Get a wastebasket. Get wasted. Go back to school. Go back to bed. Thank you for thinking of us. After careful consideration, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> and the last one I'm going to read is... Um, The title is a, is a quote from the Associated Press. Matter accounts for 4% of the universe's mass. That's you, that's me, the chipmunk and the juddering fridge in the kitchen. It's the hum of traffic over the shoulder and the woods through which you aim your gaze. It's the bird that swings on invisible ropes from tree to tree. It's the knee crossed over the other knee. And the pencil crossing the page like a wave to shore, coming back for what at its tip is the sound of wind. It's the next of kin and the book these words have hopped onto and the chair that surrounds you it's what unfurls out your window at the distant end of your stair. It's beyond that, across an ocean. It's an elbow into which someone leans over coffee, closing her eyes to remember the boy who stroked her face with his lips. And it's the boy who has not forgotten, though he never thinks of her, and lives in a country she cannot pronounce. It's the nouns. It's the stars we point to with our bones. It's the stones that people are holding, yelling and chanting, 
and a woman who has fallen beneath their feet, closing her eyes for the last time. It's the wine. It's the 20 kids on the red floor of a classroom, their small hands curled into shells. It's the bells that fill our ears. It's the moon that pours its blaze across the world over the bald spot of the tallest man, over the top of the smallest coffin, and the shiny shanks of your Sunday shoes. It's whatever we touch and later scatter. How can so little matter matter so much?